Hi, I'm Taylor Parker, and we're here with the Flavor of Life talking about uh, sake today. Uh, and your name is? My name is Eric Fung. Uh, we're uh, based in uh, Hong Kong and also in Japan. Wonderful. And we're here today to uh, share our sake product and our winery product uh, with the uh, Toronto public. Wonderful. So you're you're trying to get established within the LCBOs in Canada? Yes. We're actually trying to look for uh, consumer opportunities with the LCBO as well as with restaurants. Uh, in particular, restaurants, fine dining, and uh, chefs that really want to play with different products on, on the table yep. and uh, introduce uh, multicultural products Wonderful. Uh, across, uh, across Canada. Beautiful. So what do we have on display today? So uh, let's start with the sake since we've, uh, we have it out here and it's, uh, we have two products from uh, our Japanese uh, sake brewery. Uh, this is our, uh, what we, our brand Miyoshi, uh, Miyoshi Black. Uh, which is a 50% rice polish. Okay. Uh, and this is a uh, our Miyoshi Green, which is uh, a you could say a brewmaster uh, secret or his standard, where he yep. likes to play with it on a harvest, harvest yep. by harvest. Uh, so and you get a different flavor profile based exactly. on based on harvest. Exactly. Wonderful. Exactly. Uh, the rice that we use is uh, purely um, a sake brewing rice, Yamada Nishiki. Uh, in Japan, we call it the king of uh, sake rice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So would you like to have yeah, a Yeah, abs absolutely. Sure. So that's a small bottle. That's a... Uh, it's just a little guy. Bottle, it's a little yeah. guy. That's a, that's a good night. Yes. <laughs> it's for the public. <laughs> yeah. So uh, both products use the same. Oh, wow. That's very, very tasty. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, sorry, go ahead. Continue. What are the flavors? What do you uh, flavor notes. It's, well, it's just very, uh, very light, very aromatic, um, almost like a, like chilled. It's fantastic. I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> very delicious. Very smooth. It's one of our super premium uh, uh, sakes that we've brought to the uh, show today. Uh, it's definitely something that is very hard to find in the Toronto market right now. Yeah. Uh, and we're really <laughs> trying to uh, push this out. What would you pair it with? Oh, um, so pairing some of this stuff, actually, I'd love to go with a uh, very nice, like subtle fruit flavors. Um, we have a lot of different, uh, even wild elderberries that most people don't use in restaurants in and around Canada. Uh, we actually go foraging a lot of it. So when you find like these like wild elderberries, uh, things like sumac, it would be very subtle, subtle notes to very kind of amplify the flavor that you get from the rice. Excellent. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Well, let's try this. Yeah, sure. Um, you may not get the same one twice because um, each year is different. It's based on the rice that's actually grown in the, uh, in the same prefecture in Japan where the brewery is located. Um, and to be very honest with you, the, the, the rice itself, uh, the rice patties are cut into the mountainside, mm. so it is uh, a definitely a different sight to, to, to see. That almost, that, the flavor almost tastes like a, like a really, um, like a, almost like a, like a beautiful smooth champagne. It's actually, wow, yeah. Um, so pairing with something like that, we would almost, I, I couldn't even say fruity notes, I would almost pair that with a very uh, um, rich flavors, uh, almost very savory. Like I, I would almost dare to put that with like, a, top it off with some like very nice uh, wild pick mushrooms, uh, a few little like uh, spring salad mixes, but that would almost finish like beautifully with that as well. Um, and then what, what else do we have here? Last? So um, our last thing is actually our Japanese winery. Uh, it's from Yamanashi Prefecture in Japan. So uh, in terms of geography, it's one of the prefectures uh, right next to uh, Tokyo. And it's literally, Yama in Japanese means mountain and it's literally surrounded 360 degrees by, by mountain. So it creates a natural, wow. uh, a natural landscape for, for actually growing grapes yep um, and the gra the products that we have right now keeps all the grapes moist with all the moisture exactly. coming and down into, nice the, into the valley yep. um, all our products are using Japanese variety of grapes yep. or uh, a particular species that's been developed in Japan um, we have a rosé here uh, it's from uh, Kyoho grapes which you can definitely have a have a taste yeah uh, Kyoho are one of the large uh, purpley grapes that you can find at Asian supermarkets. Okay. They're, they're, they tend to yeah, be I've, quite I've seen them around. expensive yeah. ones. Yep. Um, but, always uh, dried. Always <laughs> dried. Uh, but nowadays, we've never seen it, in at least in the Toronto market, we've heard from different people mm. of, of having this as a, as a wine. So maybe you can have Wonderful. One. Yeah, okay. for sure. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh wow, that would 
would actually be a that'd be a very nice. Um, I would I would pair that with meat hands down, especially wild game. Uh, wild game, the flavors are very uh, strong, beautiful, pungent, um, aromatic. Um, that would actually kind of cut through some of that. Uh, you're not necessarily like a lot of gamey taste when you when you cook game properly, but um, the the richness that you get because we, when you cook things like moose, I would pair that with a moose hands down. Um, you get sear sear. You get this very rich flavor. Uh, moose are twig eaters, so they eat a lot of berries. So that okay. would I, that would just compa- like contrast it so well. Wow. Very tasty. Excellent. Uh, this is a musket uh, berry, which is uh, really a, a hybrid species of grape. Yep. Uh, we'll open this one up. Um, it's a red. Okay. And it's probably something that most of the public are not very used to because it's something that you find more commonly in Japan. Yep. Um, let's have a taste. Dry. It's very nice though. Dry, aromatic, fruity, all at the same time. Um, Honestly, I would probably make that into... um, I don't even know what I would pair that with. Uh, That would be more of like a wild game. Um, Like a... I think almost wild poultry. Wild turkey. Uh, I could top that off with a little bit of like cranberry and and, uh, some, some sort of... I don't know. It's very tasty, though. Very sweet, very subtle, very nice flavors. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and this is our last one. We're saving it for the end of the show today, yep. so yeah. please come back. Which I don't blame you. Um, <laughs> this is uh, uh, another special. It's quite popular uh, this time around at the trade show because, again, it's it's a indigenous Japanese grape, bullshit grapes. It's actually one of the grape varieties that is extremely popular and well-known in Yamanashi Prefecture. Yep. Um, and this is a sparkling. This is a, a sparkling white, uh, and it's actually a product that uh, this time around we just kind of ran out of all our samples, and we <laughs> wanted to save this for, for last for the last day. Perfect. And, uh, make sure that everyone gets a, a, a sip of it uh, to end uh, the three days here at uh, CL. Wonderful. Except the camera guys. Except the, the camera. Guy. <laughs> well, the camera guys invited as well. <laughs> camera guys got to shuck oysters later. Yeah. Um, Okay, so if, if we're looking to locate you guys, where can we find you in terms of the, the worldwide interweb? Um, so you can definitely find us by our uh, our email address, which is askus at flavor, F-L-A-V-O-U-R hyphen of, O-F hyphen uh, L-I-F-E dot com. Uh, we are building our website, uh, yep. which will be available in June, and it's, uh, it's effectively the same, but with a dot com on it again. Uh, are, you, are you taking so much time to build the website because you're too busy drinking? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, that particular. Yeah. Particular yeah. <laughs> well, we're actually going out to a lot of the breweries to yep. find the, to source the product. So uh, yes, we're we're not we're not there yeah. uh, yet with uh, twiddling with the photographs, but we're we're definitely tasting well, to bring something to the public. Well, hopefully we can uh, see you in uh, Canada soon. Yes, yes. We're love looking love that. Love to have some product in Canada. Why are you so passionate about sake? Uh, it's definitely a, uh, a product that uh, I've grown up with drinking um, and also at the same time it's uh, something that's quite memorable. It's organic. It's organic in the sense that there's no preservatives. Uh, it's really as basic as it gets. It's three products. It's your water, your rice and a starting culture to, to uh, do the fer- uh, start the fermentation. And uh, in Japan actually the byproduct, uh, which is the rice, which has been pressed, is yep. actually used in a lot of cosmetics. It's very good. Uh, a lot of Japanese cosmetics, they actually uh, use it for, uh, you know, moisturizers and sorts like that. So it's definitely a product that well, is uh, very, very uh, healthy. It's definitely kept you youthful. You look like you're thank 20 you. still. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 